Meghan Markle's dreams of yacht girl stardom sunk by Netflix. It was meant to be Meghan Markle's big break into reality TV stardom. After stepping down from her role as a working royal in 2020, the former Duchess of Sussex had been eager to leverage her brand and profile into lucrative media deals. One of her first pitches to Netflix, the streaming giant she and Prince Harry had signed a reported $100 million deal with, was a reality show that would have given viewers an inside look at her early career as a yacht girl. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. But the network apparently didn't see the same potential in Meghan's yacht girl past that she did. Multiple sources claim the Duchess was furious and embarrassed when Netflix ultimately decided to pass on the concept, which he had hoped would make for compelling and eye-catching content. The proposed show would have followed Meghan and other young women working on luxury yachts, catering to the whims of the wealthy and well-connected clients who could afford such an exclusive mode of travel. It was a world Meghan was quite familiar with, having worked as a briefcase girl, on the game show Deal or No Deal before landing her breakout role on the legal drama suits. According to insiders, Meghan was convinced this behind-the-scenes look at the luxurious yacht girl lifestyle would captivate audiences and help solidify her transition from royal to full-fledged media personality. But Netflix executives reportedly had some concerns about the actual entertainment value and broader audience appeal of such a niche subject matter. Meghan is really frustrated that Netflix didn't feel her yacht girl show was going to be a hit, a source close to the Duchess told Page Six. She movie pitched it as a really glamorous, juicy expose of that world, but the network bosses were worried it was too specific a topic that wouldn't have mass appeal. Another insider claimed Meghan felt embarrassed and humiliated by Netflix's rejection, especially since it represented the first major setback in her and Harry's post-royal media ambitions. This was meant to be the project that got her Hollywood career off the ground, the source said. Of course, the Sussexes' deal with Netflix is about much more than just one failed reality show pitch. In addition to an as-yet-untitled documentary series focused on the Invictus Games, founded by Prince Harry, Meghan, and her Archwell production company are also developing a family-focused animated series called Pearl. But the Yacht Girl show rejection is still said to sting, particularly for a woman who has faced so much criticism and skepticism about her abilities and motivations since joining the royal family. Meghan has long been accused of being primarily interested in fame and wealth, and the failure of this initial project proposal only seems to reinforce that perception in the eyes of her harshest critics. Meghan really wanted to pull back the curtain on that exclusive yacht girl world she was once a part of, the first source explained. She was convinced it would be a juicy, sexy, glamorous show that everyone would watch. But Netflix just didn't see it that way. Some royal experts have even speculated that the Duchess may have been hoping the Yacht Girl show would help rehabilitate her public image to some degree, allowing her to reclaim a bit of the scandalous, party girl mystique she had cultivated earlier in her career. But the network clearly didn't share Meghan's enthusiasm for that particular angle. It's worth noting that Meghan's dealings with Netflix have been something of a mixed bag so far. While the streamer has given the green light to the Invictus Games documentary and Pearl, Reports have suggested that some of their other pitch ideas have been met with skepticism or outright rejection. There have also been rumblings of creative differences and production delays, with Netflix executives allegedly growing increasingly frustrated by what they perceive as Meghan and Harry's extra high demands and inability to deliver content on time. The couple's overall deal is said to be worth a massive $100 million, so the pressure is certainly on for them to produce content that will resonate with audiences and justify that eye-watering price tag. The failure of the Yacht Girl show, in particular, may sting even more given Meghan's previous experience in that world. As a struggling actress in her 20s, she had worked as a briefcase girl, on the game show Deal or No Deal, carrying and displaying the large suitcases that contained the cash prizes. By her own admission, it was a job she found demeaning and beneath her talents. I would end up standing up there forever in these very uncomfortable and instrategically placed heels, Megan once recalled. I hated that aspect of the job, but I knew that if that's what I had to do to pay my bills, then that's what I would do. Now, over a decade later, it seems Megan was hoping to reclaim some of that unsavory but lucrative yacht girl past and spin it into glossy, must-watch reality TV gold. But Netflix, it appears, just wasn't buying what she was selling. Of course, 
This is hardly the first time Meghan has faced setbacks and rejection in her quest for fame and fortune. Even before she became a royal, the American actress struggled for years to land high-profile roles and establish herself as a household name. And since departing the monarchy, she and Harry have dealt with their fair share of media and public scrutiny as they've navigated their new lives outside the palace walls. But if Meghan was hoping the Yacht Girl show would be her big breakthrough moment, Netflix's decision to pass on the concept has no doubt been a major blow. The Duchess may have to go back to the drawing board as she and Harry continue to pursue their multi-million dollar media ambitions. One thing's for sure, the path to stardom has been anything but smooth sailing for this former royal.